Outrage and questions. Students at the University of Wisconsin-Madison are asking for a white student to be expelled after she went on a rant spewing racial slurs and glorifying slavery. That rant was caught on video. CBS 58's Yukari Nakayama joining us live in studio with the video and more. Yukari? Yeah, that's right, Chesib. If you have a phone, then you might have seen a viral video that shows a white young woman throwing those racial slurs and glorifying slavery in a video that was posted a couple days ago. It happened to be a UW-Madison student. She's faced lots of backlash from her peers, but they argue not so much from the university. I can how every little did me wrong. I literally hate all of them. I'm going to make them pick kind in the fields all day long until they Dive. This student seen here on video has been identified by her peers as Audrey Godlewski, a video that's gone viral for its offensive nature, shared all over social media. Godlewski's own peers made a petition for her expulsion, garnering over 50,000 signatures. The university responding in part saying while the university can limit what students and employees post on their personal social media accounts and can't take action against posts that are, are not unlawful, racist slurs do not represent or reflect UW-Madison values around creating an inclusive community. This response inciting student-led protests, but Howard Schwieber, political professor at the university, says legally there's not much the school can do. But this is not a matter of the university choosing not to take disciplinary action. Uh, they simply cannot without running afoul of the First Amendment. Schwieber explains what makes hate speech protected and what makes it punishable. So even speech that is otherwise protected can become unprotected. If you say it to someone face to face, and it's what's called fighting words. But unlike many students who want Godlewski off campus, McCray Jones believes she should face the heat. She needs to make up for the harm that was done to black students. I do think that the university should force her, if she wants to keep her spot at the school, to want to address those harms. I did reach out to the Dean of Students at UW-Madison to ask if the protest and petition would be answered. I have not received a call yet. In the studio, Yukari Nakayama, CBS 58 News.